What is up everyone? Your boy Phil here, back with another Bang Dream video. As you guys see, I'm a, a little bit of a different format today. Uh, we are on Twitch here. Um, so I'm doing sort of like a live uh, sort of video here. I'll be putting this on YouTube. Not too much uh, editing going on here. Basically today, I just want to talk about a few things. Um, first of all, I was away for a while and now I'm back. And there was this video, this like sort of summer 2022 Bandary update video. So I want to just summarize a few things uh, that they've discussed in this video. Um, just a couple of new interesting updates to the game as well as the series. So I want to share that with you guys and as well share a few updates about what's coming up with the channel um, and just give you guys a bit of an update now that um, I'm back from my vacation. So you guys can see everyone in the chat here. Uh, they're joining me right now uh, live and yeah, we're just going to go right out of the way and talk about some of the upcoming updates to um, Bang Dream and JP Dory uh, for 2022 and the summer. So uh, let's get right into it. So again, because it's live, I'm just going to kind of like, you know, there's not going to be like, it's going to be a little choppy here and there. So apologies in advance um, with that. So first of all, um, fun stuff here. This is something I might be looking forward to. The fact that there's the ninth live, there's a complete box, all four uh, sort of performances um, in one Blu-ray. It has already been released uh, on June 22nd of this year and it's pretty expensive so any whales who want to get it they can get it i'm kind of tempted honestly but uh, we'll see <laughs> this is some pretty ex exciting stuff um, and kind of leads to a, a concert in the future which we'll uh, talk about very shortly in terms of the other blu-ray that they have is the film live second stage so they've already like played this movie like in various different places like in movie theaters and very different streams now you can actually earn, uh, own the blu-ray on july 20th and it also has some special um, additional content uh, as you can see here there's some there's special live uh, girls band party stream um as well as some other sort of encores as well there's like three different encores so that's gonna be pretty uh pretty fun so there we go that's uh, another blu-ray to look out for uh, and there's also the Pasta Palette Special Live titled Dream Blu-ray. And I think this Blu-ray looks like it has three different things, or technically two. Um, the titled Dream Special Live, and as well as the 8th Live. There's like a little section during the 8th Live where Pasta Palettes performs. So they'll kind of grab that section as well. And this is going to be released on August 3rd. So any Pasta Palettes fans uh, can look forward to this Blu-ray as well. Um, in terms of songs, let's talk about songs. Uh, Morphonica is going to have their fifth single released. It's kind of surprising that they already have five singles, but that's great. The more Morph songs, the better. Uh, September 14th is when it's going to be released, and they're going to have two songs, one step at a time, as well as an unknown song. But this song is just going to be the opening theme song to Bang Dreams uh, Morphonic Morphonication um, anime. So the anime is actually being released on July 28th and 29th, I believe. So that opening song to that anime uh, will be in this single and that's also what the single is going to be called but um, they're kind of teasing it we don't know uh, what the song is yet we'll see very soon and as you can see as part of the blu-ray you could also have the anime um, attached to it so pretty cool pretty fun stuff here um pop and party is also going to have their uh 18th single they have a lot of singles uh this is going to be uh, the natsu ni toji komete um this is for the stargazing event as you can see they all have like the nice sailor outfits and you can have the blu-ray version or the regular album version on the right and the songs that they're going to have is natsu ni toji komete as well as yuki limit so these two will be the songs that uh these the songs will be in this uh cd as well as they're gonna have a, a blu-ray if you want the blu-ray it's gonna be for the pop and shuffle uh, bang dream um movie so pop and party also have a movie called pop and um pop and dream and that's going to be included in the blu-ray it looks like so pretty pretty excited there um so that's another single to look out for all right and 
They've also shared some information about the 10th lives, so we're getting right into more lives. It, had, it felt like it's been ages since we have lives, and now we're bringing it all back because of the pandemic. So day one is going to be Roselia. Uh, their concert is called Sonenshim. <laughs> it's going to be a Thursday live, which is crazy. Like, man, all those people who want to see Roselia, they have to like take work off on Thursday just to see them. Uh, but anyway, uh, September 22nd is going to be their concert. Uh, day two is going to be Morphotica with a much more appropriate or a title that is easier to pronounce. Uh, rever okay, never mind. Reverberation. Also kind of difficult, surprisingly. Um, Friday is going to be on uh, September 23rd. Poppin' Party is going to have their uh, concert on Saturday. They kind of take one of the main stages, Hoppin' Poppin' Dream Min, on uh, September 24th. And, oh, uh, let's go a little bit for, forward there. Uh, Rass is going to have the fourth day and the final day to conclude, Soul Roar. And it's going to be on Sunday, um, September 25th. So, um, you know, really fun uh, live concerts upcoming. And, of course, there's probably going to be, like, delayed viewings in the future, probably near the end of the year or early next year. And, of course, Blu-ray. So these lives are going to be fun. I'm probably going to just wait for the delayed viewings and see how things go. But, yeah, I'm really looking forward to these lovely concerts here. All right, so this is some pretty interesting um, reve revelation here. Um, as you can see, um, this is a AI singing synthesizer and Bang Dream is gonna have two of them. Uh, this is the biggest news, th this is the biggest kind of news that they're sharing in this particular uh, update video where um, these uh, AI singing synthesizers powered by uh, Sevio AI. Uh, we're gonna have a Kasumi and Yukina sort of Vocaloid-like figure, um, Poppy and Rose, uh, being introduced. So this is gonna be really exciting. Um, for a lot of people, they they want to like have like a dream cover of like Pop and Party doing a song or Roselia doing a song, and now with these synthesizers. Um, these AI sort of Vocaloid versions of Kasumi and Yukina, you could literally make your own cover of whatever song you like, right? You want to hear Yukina sing, I don't know, um, Black Rock Shooter or something, just as an example, you can do that. Um, that's the first thing that, I can, <laughs> that came up on the top of my head, but yeah, it, it's pretty interesting here. So um, this is like the project that they have, the Bang Dream AI singing synthesizer powered by um, Sevio AI. Again, there's a lot of information they share about this, but I'm not like, I'm not like too familiar and I don't really want to like translate it because, um, you know, there's a lot of details and I probably will not translate it properly. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll just show like a bit of the small information here, like the models here. Yuki 9 in particular looks amazing, by the way. Um, so um, this is really exciting. So um, if more if, if people can have the ability to just kind of look over it and maybe summarize a bit more, uh, I'll, I'll probably share some links in the description or in a pin post below. So um, yeah, and, and for now, it seems like it's just going to be Kasumi and Yukina for now. I don't know if they'll do any more in the future. I imagine they'll probably test this out. If it's really successful, then maybe they'll do um, probably Ras and Morphonica next. Um, but again, I, I, I can't say for certain. So um, yeah. So the next stuff has a bunch of Garpa, Garpa Cup stuff, which I'm not going to talk about. Um, but what I am going to talk about after this ad, I'm going to talk about is this, the artist tie up. Um, which is featuring Hello Happy World and Hyadan. So again, as a reminder, artist uh, tie-ups are when a producer, in this case is Hyadan, uh, is producing a song for a particular band in, in, uh, in Bang Dream. So the song is confirmed. Um, it's going to be released on June 30th. So actually, pro by the time you're watching this video, it might already be released. Um, but this is going to be the song. So Hyadan is known for doing stuff like um, like Nichijo. He did like the Nichijo opening uh, or he produced the song. And the song that way is going to be Happy, Happier, Happiest. That's what it's called. Um, there's a preview on the official Bang Dream YouTube channel. So you can check it out um, and have a listen. Then with the MV and all that fun stuff. It sounds pretty like hella happy for sure, but also has a little bit of like a Nichijo vibe. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Um, 
Again, here's sort of like the MV preview. You can see Kokoro and with the very unique art style um, right there. I also believe, and I don't know if it's on here, but I also believe that uh, Hello Happy World is going to be covering a song. They're going to be covering one of the Nichijo openings as well. And that is going to be released in the game alongside uh, this happy, happier, happiest song. So we'll have a, a Hell Happy World cover uh, sort of tagged along with this artist tie up as well. So that's going to be uh, really cool. Um, let's skip over to this one, which is probably my favorite uh, of this uh, announcement here. Afterglow is going to take the final tie-up uh, spotlight. They haven't gotten one yet, um, and it's going to be uh, TK from Ling Tosite Segure, uh, who's going to do a song for Afterglow. So, of course, TK is well known for, uh, you know, producing everyone's favorite meme song, Unravel, uh, the opening to Tokyo Ghoul. Um, so the fact that TK is going to uh, sort of produce a more, maybe like an edgier tone for Afterglow, I am really looking forward to this. And also the fact that usually a tie-up song also kind of coincides with the cover. So that means Afterglow is probably going to cover a song from TK, uh, which is going to be really exciting. I think it's going to be really cool. Um... If I were to guess, it's going to be Tokyo Goal reopening, um, which is uh, Catharsis. That would be really hype. Although, also, like, uh, 91 Days uh, opening signal, that would be really hype, too. So, either of those songs, I'm really looking forward to this. This is probably, like, my favorite announcement. They don't know, they don't say exactly when it's going to be released, but probably it's going to be later this year. So, um, looking forward to that. Okay. Um... In game news, in other game news, they've already teased a bit of what is going to happen in this upcoming event. As you can see, it's a summer event. Uh, we have the event title, uh, PM545. Uh, so it's sort of like a like a sunset kind of vibe here. And then the gacha is going to be some uh, specialty. It's just like a specialty with the she uh, seashells. Um, so it's really interesting because you notice how the coin here, this is the afterglow coin. And this is a Roselia coin. So this could be another Afterglow Roselia kind of event, um, which would be really exciting because it has been a very long time since we had an Afterglow Roselia um, event uh, here. And they've even teased some of the cards here. And I mean, let's be honest, guys. So these are some of the cards for the... Um, uh, the the game the the sort of the the event uh, I forgot to mention that there's also a dream fest coming up with this so um, so there's gonna be two dream fest cards and two gacha cards and I mean guys look at this this is Ron like like it's so obvious the, the red noodle here that's Ron um, this most likely then be is Yukina right like the one with the hand here it's most likely Yukina so this could be a Ron Yukina event which is pretty pretty intriguing. If that is the case, um, is Ron the Dream Fest? I don't think Ron's the Dream Fest because you see the, sh uh, the seashell motive. She's probably part of the event. So she's going to be part of the limited event because summer cards are always limited usually. Uh, so I, I imagine she's going to be limited. Uh, this one is also, I think, the part of the motif here, the little water motif. If this is Yukina, it's probably going to be the event here. Now, these two are probably going to be the, the, the Dream Fest here. Um, so we have layer, probably. I mean, that seems pretty obvious, right? Layer here. I don't know who this is, but your guess is good as mine. It could be Saya because of the bread. Um, uh, but let me know in the comments or maybe in the chat. Who do you guys think is the, um, is the particular or the particular characters featured here? Um, but I think my guesses are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty on point. So, yeah. Um, one last thing, um, before we end off here, I think this is the last major, uh, thing. Yeah, this is the last major thing. They're updating the, um, the song select screen to look a little more 2D. <laughs> you know how it's like a really nice, weird, like, sort of ovally kind of shape, like a 3D shape, but now they're kind of making it a little bit more simplistic. As you can see, a lot of, every, like, all the shadows are kind of gone, right? All the shadows are gone. Everything looks kind of flat and 2D. But I guess it's just trying to make things a little bit more, I guess, not as much clutter because there's just more songs and such. And you can see that the sorting is a lot more, um, it makes a lot more sense to sort. Like one thing is, and you guys know me from my streams, I don't use the sort wheel because I don't like it. 
I think it's a, it's more annoying to use the sort wheel. So they are making it so you don't have to use a sort wheel. You could just click on the particular tabs and you can go through choosing songs a lot easier. So as you can see, they have like the 3D live modes, right? So there's all songs that have 3D lives. You could filter there. These are the original songs. Some of them have like, you know, MVs, events and such, right? Some from anime uh, songs as well that are original. There's the extra songs, and the covers are in orange, which are split into various categories, like anime songs, uh, J-pop songs. So if the cover is an anime or a J-pop uh, song, then they would uh, filter specifically there. So I think it's pretty interesting. I've heard complaints that this looks kind of childish, um, that people don't really like this, this kind of style. Uh, you know, they, they do miss the 3D, but... I think in the long run with the sorting, it's a little bit better. So I don't know what you guys think uh, about that. Again, it's 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 a little it's simplistic. I, I think they're they're moving towards a simplistic style, but um, yeah. So we'll see how this goes. Again, I'm not sure if you are able to sort back to the to the old sorting system, but whatever. Um, we'll see how that goes when that time comes. And again, just to remind everyone that this is going to be the, uh, the 14 songs that will have 3D live modes that's going to be um, released on the 6th year anniversary uh, on March 2023. So I think I've already talked about these songs uh, in my previous video, so definitely check that out if you haven't done so already. All right, so that's basically all the all the stuff in this particular uh, live stream when it comes to like the series, when it comes to the game. I just want to briefly talk about some a few channel updates before we end off the video. So again, for my uh, loyal subscribers, filler nation members, all you fun people there, um, once again. Um, it's great to see how everyone has been kind of enjoying all the content I have with the guide videos, with the podcast especially. So I do plan on doing, you know, resuming streams very soon, um, doing a bunch of stream requests that uh, my subscribers have uh, suggested. Podcast will resume as well after, you know, my hiatus from vacation. I'm kind of doing a little bit of tweaking with some formatting, so um, I, I hope the podcast, the moving forward, will have a, a few some few format updates in regards to how it will look, maybe in terms of how it will be formatted in terms of sections. Um, so definitely look forward to that. Um, it may take a while for that to to reboot, but don't worry. Uh, Refill Studio podcast episodes will be resuming so shortly, especially when uh, July first it marks the first year anniversary of the podcast with episode one featuring. Skitter uh, that happened on July 1st or that was published on July 1st and um, yeah it's been a whole year since that podcast so um, it has been released so really fun exciting stuff and I do look forward to having some even more exciting um, updates ahead for the podcast so definitely look forward to that I got a lot of really positive reception in terms of my other guide videos, so hopefully I can sneak in some other like new guide videos in the middle as well of these podcast episodes. So, you know, the way I'm trying to format these podcasts, I want to make it so I'm putting less effort on the editing so that I could put more focus on making more guide videos that you guys are enjoying. So um, that's something that I am probably going to try and look into and maybe I'll, uh, uh, I'll try and um, make sure that that gets done as, as soon as I can. So. A small update, small channel update from me. Um, again, I was just out of uh, vacation for a bit, but streams, podcasts, videos, they're all going to be resuming, and hopefully they'll be better than ever before. So, um, yeah, that's all for today, guys. So, from uh, for the YouTube video, I think we're done for here. So, again, to Twitch, uh, I guess, followers and people in the live chat so far, thank you so much for, uh, I guess, tuning into this part of the uh, the video here. And uh, for everyone on mobile YouTube, uh, don't forget to hit like and comment and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And we'll see you all in the next update video. And we'll be a little bit less uh, scuffed than this. So, until then, take care, everyone, and bye bye